Uh, just a quick advice uh, kwa wale watu ambao mume or oh, uh, those people who are married you know nothing in this world is guaranteed forever even if you took the force that you're gonna be staying together whether in sickness or whatever you call them things can change that's the truth whether you like it or not things can change we see we have seen it happen we have seen people who are so so much in love hmm? let me tell you when i came to this country i had people who i felt like when i'm gonna be married i'm gonna be like them this is really life i want but when i look at them now i don't know what to say i don't know what to say Therefore, what am I trying to say? Things can change, especially in marriage. Life can change. Things can go south. And when they happen to go south, we need to be strong. We don't want to add a problem on a problem that is already existing. Especially doing the unthinkable. Planning to kill somebody. No, that's going to be worse than ever expected. Uh, especially when you have little kids, you have to sit down. I know it's very painful, it's not easy, but you have to sit down and at least make a sound judgment uh, that it's not going to affect your life so much because it's already affected. Your spouse is left or is leaving, you are not in good terms. But you're trying to have a cutoff of problems that you're going to, you know, add on top of another. Uh, you know, some of us were talking this through little experience. Therefore, it's not that stories that we're making up. We have gone through some of these things. Therefore, when a man travels all the way from Kenya to commit murder, as you can put it, or to plan to find a hitman to do the job. Uh, that's definitely digging a grave for yourself. Oh, you know, that's definitely digging a grave for yourself. Especially a foreign country where you don't know the loopholes, nothing. You don't know how the courage of the people is. You're just planning to do something that is so unthinkable. Oh. That's magnifying the problem that you have almost 10 times. Let me say almost 10 times. If someone has decided to move on, to do away with you, you know, you can, you can change them physically, but you cannot change what's in their hearts. They have decided, they have decided, they have decided to do away with you, they have decided to do away with you. There's nothing much you can do. Uh, especially even if you force things to work the other way around, it can't because they have already decided in their hearts that they are going to move on. Especially when they are moved to another country, just leave them, let it be. I know at 52 it's not easy, but still you have life ahead of you. You have life ahead of you, especially when I look at the... Uh, the provider of this guy is, uh, is a punker who is uh, definitely well of. I know money is not everything, but at some point you can find something to hold on if someone has decided to do whatever has decided to do. Other than magnifying the problem 10, 20 times from the previous uh, existing problem that you're dealing with. Otherwise, guys, let's learn to be strong. I remember one case here in 2009 where a guy killed his wife and uh, two kids, leaving a little, little kid behind. The little kid should be a teenager at the moment, as we speak, and the guy has been in jail since then. Imagine if we could have sat down, take another alternative rather than killing, I'm sure two, three years, five years down, he should have forgotten about the whole ideal 
and they should have found a different love. He should have moved on. But now, he did something of no return. Otherwise, watch this video. Keish is off today. We begin with that wild story out of Putnam, where a man originally from Kenya who had been recently staying at a motel in town in Connecticut is accused of a murder for hire plot. Police say witnesses came forward with proof that this man here asked a hit man to try to kill a family member. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts was in court today for all of this. She joined us now outside court in Danielson with the details. Amanda. Yeah, hey, Mike, the details in this case are truly shocking. That uh, man from Kenya, police say, came here to Connecticut to plan for a family member to be killed. That is until a state trooper stepped in as the hitman. The court will set the bond at $5 million. A hefty bond for a serious crime. This was a... Uh murder uh, for hire uh, plot. State police say 52-year-old Leonard Mathiga from Kenya planned a way to get a family member killed here in Connecticut. Uh, the court doesn't view uh, the uh, allegation here as something that uh, could be misconstrued as something uh, set out of uh, anger uh, in the moment. Uh, it's specific in terms of its plan enlisted the help of other individuals. Police say Mathiga, who'd been staying at this Motel 6 in Putnam, opened up about family troubles to a confidential informant starting in September. Hearing red flags, that informant started recording the conversations. Mathiga allegedly telling him over the course of three months that he was, quote, considering harming a family member and asked if he knew someone that could, quote, hit that person, put that woman down and finish her and said, quote, I need someone who is a killer. The informant said Mathiga even asked him to find someone who could put, quote, some injection in her food or water that would kill her slowly, like a cancer. It was thought out in terms of the method of killing uh, the individual, which would be uh, make it difficult uh, for uh, protection. It all came to a head last Saturday when, according to court documents, an undercover state trooper posed as the hitman and had the informant bring him to the Motel 6, where Mathiga agreed on the hit job, planning for the family member to ingest fentanyl and make it look like an overdose. Police say Mathiga wanted it to happen during a week in January when he'd be in Kenya so he wouldn't be seen as a suspect. Now, in court today, his public defender said he maintains his innocence and came to Connecticut to settle some court proceedings and was planning to head back to Kenya this Thursday. But again, that will not be happening because of that $5 million bond. Um, if he does bond out, he is required to be on a 24-7 GPS lockdown. He'll surrender his passport and be forced to stay in the state. Live in Danielson tonight, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News.